today I'm going to run through a quick tutorial for a cute pin-up style hairdo that's easy to do when the weather's sweltering hot or really you just can't be bothered and curling your hair just seems like a little bit too much effort. You need to start with your hair parted on the side and you're going to split the front section off just behind the ear. Be happy, time won't wait. Why hesitate? Call it fate. Be happy. When that and then we're going to start by taking the fringe section here. And you're going to do a little bit of light back combing just for some volume and then you're going to twist it towards the parting. Push it slightly forward as you twist. Pin the back with a couple of curvy grips. Okay, next you're going to take this section here. Finally, this section, and you're going to do exactly the same thing, rolling towards the parting. Next, you're going to take the back and you roll it loosely up into a French pleat. You can leave the ends sticking up and arrange them in little curls on the top if you like. I just tuck them in just for ease. it top and bottom with a couple of Kirby grips. And then I use hairpins to keep it in place. Okay, split the hairspray. If you've got sticky outy bits like this, you can curl them round and add another hairpin to keep them in place. Okay, looks a bit boring at the moment, but key to making it look a bit retro and pin up hair flowers. I use a large flat one and put it just above the twist on this side and just before the parting. This one's uh, Abbey Lou Creations um, Lily. I like it because it's got a long hairpin on it rather than one of the crocodile clips or anything like that. And then I also use this comb, which is also Abbey Lou Creations, um, just to give a bit of extra security to the roll at the back, but you could put any old flower back there or none at all if you wanted to. <laughs> Five minutes, keep your hair off your neck when it's boiling hot outside, no need for rollers. Fab. Why did 